What the quadricizer is developed for is to give range of motion, neuromuscular re-education. This pumping of the ankles like this helps with the dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. This is very easy to slide back and forth to get different ranges of motion. When you're using it in this position, you get more dorsiflexion. When you lay it in this position, you get more plantar flexion, but it also simulates walking. It has a timer, which is 30 minutes, and it has a speed control from zero to 65 RPM, and it goes in reverse also, and that works different muscles. Now we have a young lady that we're gonna to try to help with her gait. The foot cradle has hospital crate foam in it, so it massages the calf, and when we put the ankle in, it fits in a, a small pocket. So we scoot the seat forward. That way the foot drops down into a little pocket. Okay, now then we're gonna put this glove on. It's like a mitten, so you keep your thumb out. So now we have this in place. So we put the hand grip. It goes in, you need more space for the thumb. And this wraps around the wrist. And this is very important because we're lining everything up the way it, it naturally should be. This is, creates more dorsal flexion. And you don't have to stop the machine to make all of these different adjustments. Do it little by little, and that way she'll be able to pick that foot up. And the way you do this adjustment is just disconnect it right there and raise this cord up out of the way. We'll do the same thing here. Right there, see how easy that is to hook? Now her hand's in a walking mode. That's the way you'd walk. You can just go ahead and fall asleep, lean back and relax. She has a little bit of trouble coordinating the hand going down. So we have tension cords we put right here. When the motor turns, the hand has to come up this way and this is gonna pull it back down.